Okay. Yeah, it's always so funny because Facebook has such a, I might need to bring you all a little bit closer. There we go. Give everybody a minute to come in. I see our Sally, Soro, Cindy. Um, all right, so show me the feed on this side. So I think I'm gonna have to move the Instagram camera over here. Okay. Yay. Awesome. Thank you for um, being here live. This is awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna give it about a minute more. Sorry, I'm starting a little late because um, I was trying to get my room set up and things kind of were being a little bit wonky this morning. So whoever is here live, I'm gonna put your name down and you will be entered in to start. I put you all your names in a randomizer and then it'll tell me it just, spits out a name and that's the person that will get a free half hour gift reading with me this month. Okay. So I'm going to go through each sign of the Zodiac. Um, so what's going to come through is basically the archetypal energy between you and a partner or you and a potential partner or you and your soulmate, twin flame, whatever you want to call that person. I'm not into labels, but, um, you know, whoever your person is, if you haven't met them yet, then we're going to be seeing into their energy as well. So you might also be, you know, not only watching for your sun sign, you probably also want to be watching for your rising sign and potentially your moon and your Venus. But I think it just kind of gets kind of crazy if you try to do everything. Um, I would say your rising sign and your sun sign. And then if you're, if you're part, if you know your partner's rising and sun, you can listen for them too. Um, obviously, because this is live, it's being recorded. Um, sometimes I get kicked off, particularly on Facebook Live. I seem to have more issues with Facebook Live than Instagram Live. If I'm kicked off of Facebook, just go over to my Instagram page. Um, I think it's Chris. Oster PhD or Chris Serap and Oster PhD. I'm pretty easy to find. So there you have it. Okay. So welcome everybody. We are in the season of love. Are you ready? I am. I'm always ready. Feeling the love, feeling, wanting to feel more love and deepen into it. Okay. So I'm getting the cards out right now. I'm going to use three different decks for, and then, so each, each sign of the Zodiac, you are going to get two or three cards, maybe more. Um, we have an hour, so I'm not going to, um, probably not going to do individual readings today but I'm definitely, I love doing these lives. So um, if there is any time, I, I might do up to three, you know, based on how my energy is feeling, okay? All right. So I also, what I'm going to be doing is, um, I'm gonna start with Aries, um, but what, we will do is um, I'm probably going to write down the signs in each of the cards afterwards. So it might be a little bit of a pause in between. Otherwise I'm going to just lose track of where I am because <laughs> there's 12 signs. Okay. So if you're here live or if you're watching the recording, think of your intention for love this year in all its forms. Um, I'm really romantic and I know a lot of you are romantics at heart, otherwise you wouldn't be here. And what we're doing is today is looking at our energy and the energy of our partner. Okay. So that said, 
Let's start with Aries. So Aries birthdays, people. If you're an Aries, will you type in the chat box that you are an Aries? Now you could also be an Aries rising. And a lot of times I find when I do these readings, watch them by, done by other people, that the rising signs tend to resonate more, but not always. So you can blend your rising and your sun signs, okay? Okay, we have Aries, okay. Gail and Antonia, any Aries over on Instagram? Tell me in the comments. Cindy, ooh, we got a lot of fiery people on today. Um, as you know, we have a Leo full moon on Sunday, late Saturday night for probably people on the West Coast. So Leo fire energy. Okay, Aries. So your energies for love. Very nice. You have the page of wands. This, is the, this also represents fire. So the archetype of fire, passion, um, and it represents you in a lot of ways because this would represent Aries, Leo, and um, I'm not thinking of the other fire element, Sagittarius, right? So if you're Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, this is definitely a card that represents you. So I feel like you want to bring good news, good feelings to love. Um, for some, this could mean that you are attracting good news about love. Um, but, you know, in this season of love, maybe this is about you wanting to make a declaration to your beloved. Um, if you are single, um, this could mean the beginning of somebody new coming in, something new, passionate, Sexy, fiery, coming in. So, Aries. So card one is the page of wands. Okay, so card two represents the energy of your beloved, your partner, who you're dating, or if you're single, who you are calling in, okay? Okay, who is the counterpart for Aries? Sorry, I have a lot of messages coming through right now. Okay, Aries. <laughs> Master Jesus, forgiveness. You are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. So I love this card as the energy of your counterpart. How interesting. So Aries people, or Aries rising people, this is really about calling in your divine masculine or if you're masculine, your divine feminine. So this is about the divine counterpart um, and the energy is around healing and forgiveness. So this person, it could be that they are working on this right now, or they will help you work on this. They talk about, um, father healing in particular. So, um, there could be some karma with your father or you're working something out around being a father or a father figure in your life. So this is definitely a very highly conscious person. This is someone that will come in and help you see that light within you that will help you heal something, okay? So that's pretty major. Okay, so let's now look at the connecting energy. 
So this is the energy, the romantic energy that connects you to your love. Again, your husband, your beloved partner, or who you are calling in if you're a single. Okay, so what is the connection? What is the romantic connection between Aries and their soul beloved? We'll call it the soul beloved. That sounds nicer. Ooh, deception. <laughs> Interesting. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So, very interesting, very interesting energy, not something we expect, but the connecting energy of deception. So what does that mean? What I'm getting from this card is, are you holding back or are they holding back? And a lot of times we mirror the energy of our soul beloved, right? Um, so I feel like really this is about communication. This is about being your true self to them, showing them exactly who you are, who, who your authentic self. And it's also about not holding back. You know, maybe you're in fear, like, oh, if I tell them how I really feel about this thing, it might start a fight or um, I'm afraid to show people my true colors and my true face because I'm afraid of being rejected. So in what way do you need to communicate authentically from the heart, from your truth, okay? Um, so this is what that card is about. Now, some people might be like, oh, does this mean my person's cheating on me? Um, I feel like this isn't about cheating. Now, if you're the one cheating, and you know that, and you know that you're not being forthcoming with somebody about who you're dating or, you know, um, somebody else you're attracted to. There, um, the, the angels and guides want you to first come clean to yourself and go, so if I'm not fully committed, to this then why am I here why am I here why am I in this relationship how does it serve me how am I serving the relationship um, so definitely this is a call for a good you know face-to-face -face, heart to heart talk communications um, starting with yourself obviously um, okay so all of those meanings will apply for Aries. Okay, so I'm going to write down what you guys got here. So there are no good cards and no bad cards, right? It's only lessons, my friends, only lessons. Okay, so the next group is Taurus. If you are Taurus, let me know in the comments, either on Facebook or on Instagram. Okay, Taurus people, Taurus party people in the house, ruled by Venus, and Venus just moved into Aries today. So um, if you are a Libra or a Taurus, you're going to feel extra fiery and frisky and sensual and like have this I can do anything attitude, right? Um, really stepping into leadership. So Taurus, this card that comes out now represents your energy in love, okay? And I'm pulling first from the Universal Golden Tarot. Oh, Eight of Swords. So Taurus, if you are a Taurus or a Taurus rising, I'm feeling like there is some fear here. Um, some fear around maybe seeing the truth or knowing the truth. Um, so, um, I'm sorry. I Hi, Anna or Anne. Um, I did not do Gemini or Leo yet. 
Okay. So if you are Taurus, we're on Taurus, this energy is about being all up in your head about things. This energy is about, you know, in love, there are some fears, you feel restricted, like you can't express yourself, you, you, you don't want to see the truth. Maybe there's a few different things that could be going on here with this energy. So um, the wisdom with this card in love is that you have the power and you have to take that power back to fully embody yourself in love, in that space of love. There is a way through this. See how she thinks she's trapped, but those swords, you know, they're pretty far apart. So she could walk through them. Her, she's bound up, but it's loose. You could undo the binds and then take off her blindfold and walk through and walk forward and move forward with love. Okay, Taurus. Thanks, Marva Jean. Always great to see you too. And then Gail, I think you said you had to leave. So we'll see you soon. Okay. So Taurus, now here is the energy surrounding your beloved your soul beloved, your partner, if you are partnered up, if you're single, it represents the energy of who you are calling in. Any Taurus folks here? If you are Taurus, let me know in the comments. Oh, this card went flying. Okay, Taurus, you are calling in the energy of Horus, cosmic gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. This is an Egyptian god. So um, it doesn't matter if you are masculine or feminine watching this. If you are a Taurus, male or female, Taurus rising, male or female, who you are with or who you are calling in is emphasizing this energy. So this is the energy of manifestation, the en energy of rebirth, the energy of vision. So, hi Gary, you're a Taurus, well perfect timing. So this card represents um, your partner. So if you are single, your potential partner, who you're calling in. If you're with somebody, you're married, you're dating, this is the energy. So um, this person is magnetic, this person is powerful, this person is bringing in a lot of blessing into your life. And if they're not in your life yet, they will. Um, so beautiful. So this person is undergoing a transformation. They're really stepping into their power. Okay. That's what this is about. So your person is powerful. They are a visionary. They are calling in. Um, sacred miracles, healing, blessings, manifestations. So, um, and they're going to help you do the same. Beautiful energy. So maybe Taurus, that's what you need right now. Maybe you need a miracle. You've been feeling stuck. You've been feeling like, you know, where is this love for me? Or, you know, just feeling like you can't express. So, um, Feel like there's a healing imminent for you in this next uh, four weeks. Okay, Taurus and Taurus rising. I'm now pulling a card that represents the connecting energy between you and your soul beloved. I think it's this card. Aww. So you are definitely calling in your soulmate or you're with your soulmate. Card says, yes, this is your soulmate. So um, if you had any doubts, you don't need to doubt. There is a very strong spiritual connection between you and your partner or between you and the partner you are calling in if you're single or if that's your intention. Definitely put it out there that you are ready, that you're here. Um, sending out good energy to your soul beloved wherever they are whether they're with you or they're not with you right um 
because you're always going to be connected spiritually, mentally, by the heart, physically. This is like, you know, really true, uh, true love, a true heart love for you. Okay, Taurus? So that's your reading. I'm going to write that down. Eight of Swords, Taurus. Okay, now we go on to Gemini. So um, we have Annie here, who's a Gemini. Okay, and Anna's a Leo. Okay, so she, it's going to be a few more minutes till we get to Leo. Gemini, so this is for Gemini or Gemini rising. So this first card, Gemini, will represent your energy in love. And we have, hi, Myrna. And hi, Twinkle Marie, you are a Gemini. That's right, we were just talking the other day about that. All right, Geminis, here is your love energy. Ooh, strength. So Gemini, this is the, um, I'm just consider the card of Leo. Um, Leo is often the, the sun card, but this is also related because there's a lion on it. So for you, Gemini, you are really gathering your courage. Um, I feel like for many of you, you want to reach out to that special someone or at least feel courage and strength as you face your fears. So maybe... If you're not in a love relationship yet, you are dealing with old fears or old disappointments about what happened in past relationships. If you're partnered, maybe there's something you need to tell your partner or express um, that maybe you are worried about how that will transform the relationship and how that person's going to take that. So this energy is all about stepping into strength and courage and definitely a spiritual strength, not physical strength. This is about not being forceful, but being powerful and being uh, taking back your power and stepping into your power. Okay, Gemini. So um, next card I'm pulling is, <laughs> thanks, Anna. <laughs> so sweet of you guys. Okay. So Gemini, this card represents the energy of your soul beloved, your partner, if you're with somebody, if you're single, who you are calling in. Hi, Jennifer. Okay. Oh, lucky, lucky, ducky, Gemini. You're calling in Kernunos. Have you guys noticed that we're pulling all of these masculine, powerful, like highly high vibration masculine figures? Woohoo! Kernunos, I have a very deep connection with Kernunos. He's also known as the stag god, the horned god. So this says, life force, express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. Woo, Gemini. Are you sweating? This is hot, spicy, sexy energy. So that's what you're calling in, my Gemini friends. Yes. Masculine or feminine, you know, if you're masculine, then this is the energy of your feminine. It doesn't mean, you know, unless, you know, unless you're a man that likes other men. Whatever. Yeah, you know, this is not gender specific, is what I'm trying to say. So Gemini. Woo! Or Gemini rising. This is Gemini sun or Gemini rising. So the next card I'm pulling is the connection, the romantic love connection between you and your soul beloved. And <laughs> Annie says, finally, oh, thank God. I know I'm a Capricorn with Pisces rising. So I'm like, because I'm actually, I'm not putting these back in the deck when I'm pulling them out, but I'm like, I wanted that to be my card. Okay, so the love connection, Gemini, is getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. 
So whoever your hot and spicy partner is, whether they're here or not, um, you know, if you're with somebody, you, there's probably all these things that you don't know about them. And, you know, having that sensual and that sexual intimacy and passion is a great way to kind of get to know each other again, recommit with more passion, experience, you know, more um, sensuality, um, and just overall, like feeling alive again, like waking up, you know? Um, Twinkle said, that's my amazing husband. That's great. Hi, Kimberly. So, if you haven't met your beloved, soul, your soul beloved yet, Gemini, um, they're coming, getting to know each other. This is like the beginnings of a new relationship. Um, or if you're with somebody, you just got together with them, you're still getting to know each other. So yeah, as each little layer is unmasked and revealed, you're going to get closer together. You're going to become more intimate. There's going to be a lot of passionate fire and juiciness. Wake that beast, ladies. Beast isn't here. I got to find the, the beast in the outer world, though. Okay, Gemini, those were your cards. I'm going to write them down, and then I'm going to move on to Cancer. First, I just want to make sure I write everything down here so I don't get lost. Cancerians, okay, the moon babies. So yeah, when there's a full moon, if you're a Cancer, you definitely feel it, right? Okay, so this is for Cancer or Cancer rising. This is your energy in love. I like it's this card. Ooh, the King of Cups. So your energy is very um, feeling emotionally stable feeling like you're in command of your emotions you're in command of your passions and you're very expressive and supportive and loving um and also you know i get with this card like i'm kind of getting this little sense that for cancers you might be holding some of your cards under the table you know like you're just like I'm going to be a little mysterious. I'm not going to have my heart on my sleeve. This is definitely not hard on your sleeve energy. This is definitely a person that could be totally vulnerable. It's totally loving, but they kind of, you know, keep some mystery about them. So that's kind of where you are right now, my cancer friends. So your soul beloved's energy is going to be in this card that just went totally flying across the room. Hold on. Mm, you guys got holy amethyst. Look how beautiful she is. Divine alchemy. Move beyond current challenges. Focus on what you desire. So if you're a cancer here watching, please type it into either Instagram or Facebook because I'm on both channels right now. Um, your partner. So this is the energy of your partner. It doesn't matter if it's a masculine or feminine gender. We're not talking about genders. We're talking about energy. So the energy of your partner is very high vibrational, very, um, these people are regal. This is a regal person. This is someone who can transcend the mundane and sees the world through the eyes of wisdom through the eyes of hi yancy okay we do have some cancerians here we have cancer rising authentically cynthia thank you for letting me know um there's an alchemy happening with with your beloved if or this could be the person that you're drawing in but this person they have really worked through their karma. So this soul beloved for you is somebody who 
has done their spiritual work. Someone who is really, I feel like enlivened, enlightened, um, powerful. They're a powerful magician. They're an alchemist. So they're manifesting you just as you're manifesting them. Okay. Um, and now this next card is for Cancerians. And this is the romantic bond energy between you and your beloved or who you're calling in. So romantic feelings, look how beautiful that card is. It says your feelings are real and worth exploring. So if you have recently met someone, I feel like this card is saying, yeah, you have some romantic feelings for them. Trust those feelings, follow those feelings, okay? Um, if you are calling someone in, they're saying you're going to know when you meet them that you're going to immediately have this sense of like this heart connection, this feeling of fluttering in your stomach, you're going to definitely feel the romantic feelings and sensations in your body um, that point to this person is your person, is your soul beloved, okay? Um, if you already partnered up, if you've been married for years, it doesn't matter how maybe you're going to be feeling these feelings stronger for each other we're getting towards that valentine's day and so maybe it's a good time to reconnect with those romantic feelings with your beloved do make romantic gestures um if you're single get yourself flowers um you know anoint yourself as the beloved um really love yourself up in the next week or so okay so Cancerians, lots of feelings. You are, and you're in command of that, and you can choose your feelings, right? Um, some of them will flow through, some of them come up spontaneously, but I feel like you are alchemizing either on your own, if you're single, or you're alchemizing with another person, with your soul beloved, and it's powerful. You're going to have a lot of feelings, a lot of love and romantic feelings come up, so attend to those. Beautiful. Okay, so that was cancer. I need to write down. So it was King of Cups, Amethyst, and Romantic Feelings. You guys got all the feels. Okay, Leos. We have some Leos in the house. Um, I think Heather is a Leo. Um, Anna Scarlet is a Leo, and um, there's someone else here that I think said they were a Leo. Let's scroll down a little bit. Maybe it's Kimberly Rogers might be a Leo as well. Okay, Leos. So I am going to pull a card that represents your energy in love. Also for Leo Risings, woo, the Ten of Swords, wow, that's intense, okay. All right, Leos, so this full moon, this weekend is in your sign. You are being really activated right now and possibly very triggered. So um, the Ten means the ending of a cycle. So this could mean that you are ready to leave a relationship if that's the case. It could also mean if you're single, you are done with being single. I'm done. Put a fork in it. Um, if you are, you know, if you're in a relationship or just started a relationship, I feel like um, you, some of you might want to be like, I want my independence back. Um, so that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to leave the person or they're leaving you. It just means that the situation has to come to an end. The situation that isn't making you happy, that isn't serving you, needs to end, okay? Um, so Leos, don't be afraid to take a deep breath and release the old crap around love, okay? Love and relationships. You want to release stuff that at this full moon 
because it's your it's your special full moon okay all right so now for leo or leo rising i am pulling the card that represents the energies of your soul beloved your partner or who is coming in you all got two cards so i'm going to take them the first the one that was on top is bridget strength Whew. Bridget is, this is a very uncompromising, fiery energy. So very much like you. Look at her red hair. She's a Celtic goddess, a triple goddess. And she's often um, paired up with Krununos, who we saw earlier, the stag horned god. So she is all about the fire of truth, the fire of knowledge, of creation. So she's asking you to recreate something. Or in particular, if she is, um, this is representing your partner. So again, it doesn't matter if your partner's masculine or feminine in gender, this is the energy that they're holding, which is about holding a mirror of truth and, and being there for you as you birth something and they could be birthing something new this person is very strong and fiery this person is um may even have red hair or red might be their favorite color they might be another leo or an aries um or scorpio i'm getting scorpio too here with this card i'm just feeling like this alchemy of fire um really igniting your heart okay so this person is very passionate and possibly very creative, maybe someone in the arts. The second card you got that represents your partner is Charity. Look how beautiful she is with the roses on her head. So Charity is prayer and contemplation. Connect with heaven and ask and you shall receive. So whoever your partner is, I feel like this is a very, this person is really all up in their heart, all up in how they feel about you. Um, and there's a lot of love. They've been, you're their answered prayer. You are the one that they see as heaven. You're heaven on earth to this person. So it's really beautiful, like a beautiful fiery connection passion but also this very deep abiding love energy that this person holds for you so if this is not your partner right now if you're not married if you're single or just started dating that is the energy that you are calling in for a partner beautiful so leo's this next card represents the connection the romantic and love connection between you and your soul beloved um sandra says she can't hear me can is anyone else having problems hearing me if so let me know i'm sorry if that's the case that stinks but maybe it's harder to hear me on instagram it could be because the phone is I don't know if the microphone is kind of sitting on the computer because I don't have a, my proper tripod. It broke. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going as if y'all can hear me. So Leo's, here is your romantic connection. Ooh. Okay, Mary says she can hear me. Um, Violet says, yes, you can hear me, you sound fine, okay. So most of you can hear me. So Sandra, Sandra it might be an issue with your, where you were at. I don't know. Okay. Leo's past life relationship. You have known this person before. So this is, a, again, this soul beloved for you is about relearning lessons with this, with this person from their, you're, you're coming together on a, a contract that you decided to be together in this lifetime, okay? Um, this person and you are very deeply connected through possibly many, many lifetimes. Um, and that's why the passion is so intense. 
So a lot of times when the passion is that intense, someone will walk away, someone will run, um, which is, I think, kind of part of the energy that you're having if you're the Leo in this scenario. Um, yeah, a very strong spiritual bond with this soul beloved. Really, really nice. Um, so in this time period, we are going to Mercury retrograde and Mercury will be retrograding in Pisces. So there will be some triggers that come up for people in relationships, especially if you're in a past life relationship, working out karma, or even if you're, even if there's good karma, there could be just this, this recognition that we've known each other before we've experienced each other before in love and romance. So that is what I've got for Leo's and Leo rising. So I'm going to write that down quickly. Oh my God. I might have to, it's almost, a, it's like 1115. I only have like 15 more minutes to get through uh, like the other more than half of the Zodiac. So I might have to come back and do some more later. We'll see what happens. Bridget and Charity. Okay, so now I'm moving on to Virgos. Do I have any Virgos here? Virgo is Earth sign ruled by Mercury. Okay, if you're a Virgo, type in the comments. So Virgos, this is your card, or Virgo rising. This applies to Virgo rising as well. This represents your energy in love, okay? Welcome everyone on Facebook and on Instagram. You're welcome, Anna. Okay, Virgos, what is the love energy for Virgos. <sighs> Lucky Virgos, you have a new cup of love. You are this cup of love. You're a cup of love overflowing. Um, Gary Virgo moon. Um, Yancey Virgo moon and rising. Beautiful energy for Virgos and Virgo risings. Virgo moon, uh, Virgo Venus. There is new love that you are calling to you. It's a soul beloved. It's a deeply spiritual love. Thank you, Monica. So sweet. Okay. Um, Virgos, yum. I just get to that you have been going through a lot of pain, a lot of um, heartache. And a lot of that really was to clean out that heart space of yours so you can receive more love. This is about receiving. You've got to be open to receive um, in all ways, especially, so we're talking particularly about love and love relationships. You, your energy is represented by this beautiful cup of love, the Holy Spirit dove, the dove of Sophia, love with wisdom and with feeling and um, love abundantly but you also have to receive abundantly okay beautiful card virgos okay so this next card represents for virgo and virgo rising the um the soul beloved that you are with or that you are calling in if you are single Okay, this kind of flew out. Odin, psychic insight. Look at him. Your third eye is open. See truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. And he's got these wings of the raven attached to his helmet. Odin is the Norse father god. Um, and he sacrificed one of his eyes to drink from the well of, um, I believe it's of knowledge of all things, wisdom. So he's a very powerful God. 
Um, so what, no matter your masculine or feminine and gender, I keep saying this, but people kind of come in and out. So that's why I repeat myself in case you're all are wondering. Um, it, this, your person coming in or who is already with you, your soul beloved is a very powerfully psychic. This person knows how to manifest. This person is magical. They're a wizard um, or a witch or a sorceress. This person is protective of you. I feel like there is some energy of protection that they, they love you very deeply. They want to see you also step into your power. And I think for you, what's going on here, Virgos and Virgo Risings, is this power to be open, this power to be totally vulnerable, which is really hard to do, right? So Virgos and Virgo Risings, the next card I'm choosing is the love or romantic connection between you and your partner, your beloved soul partner, or the connection between you and the person you are calling in if you are single or if your intention is to call in someone new. Passion, Virgo. Um, so very similar to, I think, a lot of people's energies that of the other signs that we've done already. It says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. If you are with your beloved soul, beloved partner right now, open to even more passion, receive it, give it, let it flow. Don't be afraid of passion. Um, there's fire between you. There is passion. And it could also be about sharing passions, like you're passionate about something and they're like, hey, I want to know more about that. Or they're passionate about something and you want to learn more about that. So I feel like there's a, a vulnerable sharing of passions and connecting deeper on that level. If you are single, I feel like this is a message to also you know, what are you passionate about? Maybe it's about taking a particular class or expressing something about yourself. And that's going to help you attract your soul beloved into your sphere. It's what is, will connect you. So it could be too that you meet somebody and there's immediate sparks, immediate passion. Um, I say, just flow with it. Allow the passion to grow, allow the passion to move you enjoy it enjoy that liveliness okay okay virgo so um libra is next but before i move on to libra i want to write down the cards for virgos real quick i'm just going to do a little shorthand just so i know where i'm at okay libras Lucky Libras, you might be the last zodiac sign I can get through today. I might have to come back and do everybody else later um, because I have to attend to some appointments. Okay, so Libra, if you are a Libra or Libra rising, please uh, type that into the comments. Thank you. So I'm pulling a card for Libra or Libra rising that represents your energy in love and romance. What is the energy for Libra? Woof. The five of pentacles. Okay. So there's a couple of different ways this can show up in relationships. So for some of you Libras, you are, if you do not have a partner right now and you're in the middle of relationships or in the middle of partnerships or whatever's going on, you could be feeling a little isolated right now. So Libras, know, keep connecting with the light within you, the love within you, and see yourself surrounded by it. 
really be nurturing to yourself right now because there's a lot of change. So again, you might have just broken up with somebody or if you haven't been with someone for a while, you could be feeling isolated. You could be feeling like, is, is my soul beloved out there? And yes, they are. Um, this card represents this, these two people wandering around the, in a winter blizzard, um, not seeing that there's a light and this gold, these gold coins in the window. There's so much abundance within this window and it's the window of a church. So again, connecting with the light within you is going to help see your way through this. Um, for some Libras, this could, I'm getting that you might have a beloved who's deployed overseas or who maybe travels for business and is gone right now. And maybe you're just really missing this person. Um, it could be about missing a person from the past. Um, it could be if you're not partnered up that you are just really longing for that other to be your mirror, to be your soul beloved, to be with you in this space. Okay. So Libra's fine and Libra rising, find that love within you first. Um, oops. I don't think that was, I think that was just me being clumsy. Oh, maybe not. This kind of looks like your card. Okay. I'm going to take it. This is a beautiful card. It says, hope, love, and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. So this is the energy of the partner that you're with, your soul beloved, or the energy of the partner that you are calling in. This energy is not gender specific, even though it is showing up as a feminine energy. Hope is an archangel, a female archangel who represents... Um, is it like hope, charity? It's a trinity of archangel, female. Um, somebody here probably knows it. It's hope. Because we already pulled charity, but there's a third one. Faith. Hope, faith, and charity. So um, yeah, so th this is um, we haven't gotten faith yet, but we have had charity. So hope is all about light. Remember I was talking about the light in that window, the gold in that window. This is about finding that inner light. And whoever your partner is, this person is hoping for you too. This person is focusing on self-love. Um, and it's really positive energy. It just means acknowledge how loved you already are by the universe, by mother, father, God, by the people around you that love you. Um, if you're feeling sad, if you're feeling alone. So thanks, Marie. Um, so hope is here. This is your partner. Libra, this is who you're calling in, or this is the energy that your soul beloved is, is now generating for you in your love connection. So for Libras and Libra Risings, I'm going to pull this next card that represents your connection to your beloved in love and romance. Libra. Libras, new love, my friends, new love. Okay. So if you have been single for a while, this is definitely, I'm sorry, I'm itchy all of a sudden. Um, this is saying there is somebody new coming in. So you're going to feel in love with this person. Um, if you are in a partnership and have no intention of leaving or they have no intention of leaving, this is about love renewed between you, passion renewed, um, looking at your love with new eyes, with the lies, eyes of wonder, with innocence, with um, renewed romance. So sometimes, yeah, if you've been with somebody for a while, you might be like, yeah, I love them. But now you might be looking at them like, wow, 
I am really, really still in love with you and, and just allow those feelings to flow. Um, this is also an indication for the single folks. Maybe you recently met somebody or um, just saw somebody that kind of like, ooh, kind of sparked an interest in you. That could mean that this is your person or you're ready to meet that person, that new love. Okay, Libras, so looking good. Nice love reading. So that's Libras and Libra rising, Violet, okay? So I'm going to write that down. Um, it's 11.30. Um, I'm going to keep going a little bit longer. Okay, now we have, so Libra, I think it's Scorpio next. My spicy Scorpios, who is here watching that's a Scorpio? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so if you're Scorpio and Scorpio rising, here is your card that represents your energy in love. Ooh, the Four of Cups. So Scorpio, cups are your element. Cups represent the water element. Um, you're feeling a little stagnant in your love energy. Um, you might need to go out in nature more. Um, find a way to reignite your passion. Um, I feel like you might be feeling a little bored. Like you're just like, I want some more variety or I want some adventure in my love relationships. Um, that could be if you are partnered up. If you're not partnered, this could represent somebody who, who maybe is offering you love and you're just like, yep, just not into it right now. So look within within your own heart, do you really need to open your heart more right now? And what would help you do that? Be like more passionate activities, doing something really maybe fun for yourself to kind of wake you up, to shake you up a little bit. Um, I feel like also gratitude. So if you're Scorpio or Scorpio rising, having some gratitude around life itself, you know, so maybe you're just feeling overwhelmed with life. Maybe you're feeling tired. Um, it looks like I only have 23 seconds remaining on this Instagram live. So I'm going to finish up with Scorpio and I'll be ending on Facebook live. So if you know how to find me on Facebook, I'm Chris Seraphin Oster. You can find me there. Okay. So I think it's going to end on Instagram. Sorry, folks. Um, move on over to Facebook if you get a chance. Okay. So that one's running out. I didn't realize that um, Instagram did that. How bizarre. Okay. Well, now I know. All right, Facebook people. Maybe we'll get more people coming on from Instagram. So Scorpio, back to you. I'm going to pull a card now that represents the energy of your soul beloved that you are partnered with now or that you are calling in if you are single. Okay, the partner of Scorpio, the soul beloved of Scorpio. Ooh, El Moria, awakening presence. The universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. El Moria. So, um, for Scorpio, suns, rising, moon, and Venus, your partner is somebody very, um, very wise, very present, somebody who is, um, let me pull this down a little bit now that I don't have um, the Instagram phone sitting there, um, someone who is 
has a lot of alchemy within them, someone who's very magical, someone who is I feel like they're a lifeline for you in the sense that their love is really unconditional. And in a sense, there is a coolness about them. Like I'm sensing that maybe that's why sometimes you're feeling maybe a little bit blasé. Um, that this person maybe not doesn't wear their emotions on their sleeve. This person maybe not be like, like overly like passionate and demonstrative is uh, demonstrative. That's the word I was thinking of. So I feel like this person is super cosmic, very aligned with your higher purpose. And there's a reason you're together. Um, so it could mean to really, you know, maybe do some Tantra together, study something because you're both, very i feel like you're both in your heads you're both very um just wanting some intellectual stimulation as well as sensual sexual heart passion kind of stimulation but i feel like there's a calling for both of you if you are together now to um study some kind of higher learning um new way of connecting if you are calling this person in and you're single right now, this person is definitely, you might meet them at a tantric class or a retreat or at some sort of spiritual study. Um, Cause this person is very spiritual and very wise. And that's, they're saying that's part of how you're going to know that this is your person. Okay, Scorpio. So, you know, we know that with Scorpio still waters run deep. Scorpio's like, are very mysterious and they have this power of the phoenix okay scorpio so the next card that i am pulling is for the romantic and love energy connecting you in your relationship here we go okay what is the romantic and love connection here what do we need to know the energy is reconciliation so the energy between you and your partner or between you and the soul beloved that you are calling in is um, reconciliation. It says someone from your past is returning to your life. So for some Scorpios and Scorpio rising, Scorpio Venus and Scorpio moon, this could mean somebody that you've been in a relationship with before coming back to either resolve something to learn a higher higher lesson um to feel i feel like there's a homecoming here i'm hearing in my mind the word homecoming so somebody maybe they've been away or you're both going back to your you go back to your hometown and you meet somebody that maybe you knew that lived down the street, but you didn't really know them. So I feel like there's, this is also, it could be a past life person, but it could also be someone from your early childhood, teenhood, whatever. Um, if you and your, if you're with your beloved right now, this could also mean that there has been um, a gap. There has been, a, this, it might have been a time where it's been difficult to connect intimately emotionally romantically um there's a few different meanings here but you're because you're coming back into that union and feeling stronger together okay so that is the scorpio energy and we're at 1139 i only have what sagittarius capricorn aquarius and pisces i don't think we're going to make that so um I will post the rest. I might have to post it non-live. I might have to do it later over like just a recording and then post it for you. So Scorpio, I think this was, I'm ending with Scorpio and Scorpio rising moon and Venus. Um, if that is you, that this last reading was for you. So um, I'm writing down the cards that you got. 
and um, I just want to thank everybody who's been with me today for the past hour and five minutes or so. Um, thank you for tuning in and for supporting my work and loving me up with your presence and your beautiful hearts and thumbs ups and really kind and generous comments. Um, I do love readings. Um, you can go to my website, which is mythicrhythm.com or chrisoster.com, depending on what's easier for you to spell. And if you go to Tarot, there is the Tarot shop with all my Tarot readings. And I do have the, the special reading that I do for love and soulmates and soul beloveds. Um, I believe it's, it's $77 and I pre-record the reading but it's a private reading just for you and reading into your love energies, your partners or your potential partners, love energies and any sort of balancing actions you need to take. So those are really fun to do. And I do them until February 21st. And then I stop doing the love readings and I do them again around Beltane, which is May 1st through like the fifth or the sixth. So, um, if you want a love reading this month, order one before February 21st. If you can wait until May, wait until May, whatever works for you. And I hope what we did today really served you. Okay, this has been awesome. So hi, Araceli. Hi, Mary. Um, you're welcome. So if you are a Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, or Pisces, this does not have your cards in them. Um, this is only for Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leos, Virgos, Libras, and Scorpios. That would be Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I recommend watching your rising, you know, you know, writing down the message for your rising sign first, and then looking at your sun sign, and if you have time, the other ones. Um, but for those of you who didn't get covered in this reading, I'm either going to come back and do another live, but I don't think I'm going to be able to today because of my appointments. So um, I will post a recorded video for you as soon as I can today, okay? I'm sorry I couldn't get to everybody. I thought it would be faster than it was, but we got through what we could get through. Sending you all so much love in this season of love. Um, open your hearts. Love yourselves, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you again. Bye.